Hey guys, um, welcome back for uh, some of you that they have watched uh, some plugin review and uh, watching some uh, aircraft spotting. So that's a long story. I will explain later why um, there's uh, music and uh, aircraft on that uh, YouTube channel. So uh, just to uh, share with you about um, some things in uh, Logic uh, Pro X. Um, I've been uh, recording a project since uh, the last two or three weeks and um, I have discovering uh, one thing about um, Logic and uh, I, I, can't, I can't explain why uh, Logic um, have that behavior but um, I can tell you that uh, if you are experiencing uh, cracks, pops, uh, any uh, annoying noise, uh, uh, crack sounds, anything and you don't know uh, where that uh, coming from, I think at some point your project are uh, corrupt uh, somewhere and it's it's something's wrong somewhere in your project so um, let, let's just try to uh, to review uh, some stuff uh, that people have already talked on uh, on YouTube for example um, on the view uh, view matter of the CPU, you can see uh, if you are uh, peaking at the hundred percent, and if you're peaking, like yeah, of course you're going to get um, uh, some crack and noise. Uh, there's the um, uh, transfer uh, here. Uh, of course, if you uh, get the hundred percent, it's not going to work well. Uh, by the way, there's another thing. Um, I work at um, 96 kilohertz. Uh, there are some people that are working uh, less, like uh, 48 or uh, 88. And um, even you try to change uh, from 96 to 88 or even 48, if, um, if the symptom of cracks, pops continue, it's... Um, it's not um, it's not your computer it's not um, it's not the buffer size uh, let's uh, check where is that preferences so sorry uh, it's in French it's not in um, for example we have the buffer size here it's set at 128 so I'm not working on that computer for music. It's just when I need to get some ID and uh, when I'm on the go getting my computer with me, uh, I just use it and uh, make some um, uh, templates and compose my music here. And then I export everything to uh, my Mac Pro. I have the trash can. So the difference between that computer and the trash can, it's um, here I have... Um, 8 core and I have 12 core and uh, more than 64 uh, giga RAM. So the trash can Mac Pro should handle uh, Logic X easily. But as I said, uh, when I was doing that project here, the project 1041, um, uh, <laughs> Uh, it was um, a lot of things when I was using, uh, um, of course, uh, Sync plugin. Um, if I remember, I have um, used uh, EF1 plugin here. So uh, when I have um, used that plugin here, uh, a lot, a lot of crack sound and. Uh, was very bad and uh, even I was using external uh, instruments uh, again noise 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 and noise uh, even I was trying recording um, outside of the box straight to my console uh, noise crack sound uh, so I 
I did a lot of research, uh, the converter, the cable, uh, everything. Um, I'm using uh, a converter which is uh, connected by um, uh, ARG45. Uh, it's the internet cable. Uh, I know it sounds weird, but uh, I'm using the uh, Dent or Dante, I don't know how people call it, um, connection between my converter and um, the computer and uh, its name uh, DVS, uh, Dante Virtual Sound Card. So you can you can check this on uh, on Google and, and figure this out. So I checked everything, uh, everything's out, uh, converter, cable, uh, synth, um, uh, if I have like a, a buzz loop on some cable or something like this, uh, I did everything. Uh, and at the end, I checked um, logic. Uh, I did everything. I changed from uh, 128 to uh, 1024. Uh, even the recording and uh, and everything, so I changed the buffer size. Uh, here it's um, uh, in the middle. Uh, it's written uh, moyenne in French. So uh, what else? Uh, I did everything, and uh, I can just only say, if you are um, experiencing. Um, cracks, pops, uh, sometimes it's not your computer, it's not your analog gear or even your um, uh, converter, uh, sound card, um, it's just the, the project in Logic. So the things that you can do, that's what I did. Um, I have created a new project I have get uh, a copy of uh, most of the um, MIDI file that I have written and uh, I have export uh, everything to another session. So since I did that, um, everything's worked uh, perfectly. So um, I know it's, uh, it's a recurrent problem that uh, people have and uh, lose a lot of times. In my case, I have lost like, uh, I think, a week to try to understand what was the problem. So uh, at some point, uh, when you have crap, cracks and pops, take a look here. It's uh, if it's the computer or even if you are picking uh, red here on, uh, on your channel, that's normal because uh, you are overloading um, about the sound. So uh, it's like you, you, you're picking up uh, zero dBFS. But if you're not picking over zero dBFS and uh, if uh, your uh, computer performance is fine and uh, if you are uh, fine here, uh, so other cracks and pops uh, should come from the project and you should just not uh, use that project again uh, create another project copy everything from that project to the other and uh, you should be fine that's what i did it worked for me so thanks for watching and see you soon